What is happening right now before our eyes is clear proof of how not to underestimate your opponent. All these years, the West, led by the United States, was confident that Russia was weak from an economic and military point of view, and that NATO countries would easily defeat Moscow in case of direct military confrontation. The West itself is to blame for its inability to soberly and correctly assess the capabilities of its rival. For decades, Western propaganda has created an image of Russia as a backward country, whose economy is weaker even than some Western cities and states. All this contributed to the fact that Western leaders themselves began to believe in these fairy tales. As a result, the West stopped taking into account Russia's national interests, provoking Moscow to take tough actions. Moreover, when the West harshly refused to provide Moscow with a security guarantee, thereby provoking a military confrontation in Ukraine, the United States and European countries confidently declared that the military and economic power of NATO countries would never allow Russia to win this conflict. However, as we can see, the West not only failed to defeat Russia on the battlefield in Ukraine, but also suffered a crushing defeat in the economic war against Moscow. Moreover, unfortunately for the West, events at the front indicate that Russia is ready to go all the way in this confrontation. So, it became known that Russia had created five new heavy artillery brigades, the firepower of which knows no equal. These brigades are equipped with the world's most powerful guns. In particular, we are talking about the world's most powerful mortar, 2S4 Tulip, capable of firing even nuclear projectiles of special power at a distance of up to 20 kilometers. These artillery brigades also received a 203mm high-power self-propelled cannon, 2S7 Peony, capable of destroying enemy targets at a distance of up to 48 kilometers. Moreover, it is reported that the newly minted artillery brigades also received an upgraded version of this unique high-power self-propelled cannon, 2S7M Malka, capable of hitting targets at a distance of up to 50 kilometers and using nuclear projectiles of special power. The fact that Russia has created five new heavy artillery brigades has come as a real shock to the West. Let me remind you that at the end of 2022, the Russian military department announced that it was starting to create five heavy artillery brigades, and that at the end of 2023, these brigades would become part of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. Back then, the West reacted with derision to Russia's statement. The Western military said that it would be impossible for Russia to create such a large number of heavy artillery brigades in such a short time. However, as it turned out, the West again underestimated Russia's capabilities. The West again made a mistake in claiming that Russia did not have enough artillery systems to create new heavy artillery brigades. As it turned out, Russia has 480 units of 2S7 Peony high-power self-propelled cannons and 460 units of 2S4 Tulip mortars. All this has allowed Russia to create the world's most powerful artillery brigades, capable of wiping even small towns off the face of the earth. Let me remind you that before the start of the special military operation, Russia had only one heavy artillery brigade. And now, by the end of 2023, Russia already has six of these brigades, three of which have already been sent to Ukraine.
Meanwhile, the editor-in-chief of the edition, Bulgarian military, Boyko Nikolov, said that Russia has created five new heavy artillery brigades to completely destroy the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine during the winter offensive. According to him, Russia's gods of war are already integrated with satellites and reconnaissance drones to improve shooting accuracy. At the same time, Boyko Nikolov criticized the West for its inability to soberly assess the situation. The Bulgarian expert noted that while the West was making loud statements that Russia allegedly ran out of missiles and shells, Moscow was rapidly increasing its power. According to him, the current conflict has made Russia much stronger. The Russian economy has proven that it can successfully resist Western sanctions, enabling the military-industrial complex to produce a huge number of weapons systems. According to preliminary data, Russia has accumulated more than 5 million shells, about 100,000 missiles of various types, and hundreds of pieces of heavy equipment. And all this power is ready to put a fat point to the current conflict.